Good morning, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking Channel. I hope everybody's doing well. Of course, we're still not in Wyoming. We're down here in beautiful Arizona and it's getting warmer each day. What we're doing here this morning is our version of a breakfast casserole. It's called the Sonora Pepper Casserole for Two and it's gonna be done in a 10 inch Dutch oven. And what makes this one really unique today is we have the red and green peppers, but we have what what um, Napolitans, which is a diced um, prickly pear cactus. And of course, I don't do this because it's kind of dangerous. I had the Mexicans do it for me down at the local Mexican store. And then we're going to add green chilies, refried beans that have been rinsed and drained, and a pound, about a half a pound of pork sausage, and onions and garlic. And of course, I put a little bit of cumin and chili powder, and I'll put that into my eggs. It's got a half a cup of cream in it. And then we're gonna to top it with grated cheddar cheese. Okay, we're getting ready to add to the ingredients. What we've done here is we've preheated our Dutch oven. We put 12 on the bottom and 12 on top. And it's nice and hot, you can hear it sizzling. We're adding our pork sausage first. And then our peppers. Oh my, this is gonna be wonderful. And here are our prickly pear cactus. It's been peeled and diced. And they taste a lot like green peppers. Of course, onions and garlic. Okay, that'll be last year. And then we're gonna put our diced green chilies on here. And we're gonna let this cook until the vegetables are kind of soft. Just remember, if you like this, please subscribe and tell all of your family and friends. I think you'll really love this recipe. It is really good. And please, if you enjoy this, click the like button. Tell all your family and friends. Please subscribe. There'll be a wonderful cookbook coming out. Okay, we've let this saute for about 15, 20 minutes. It's looking wonderful. They're about half cooked. So now we're gonna put our refried beans on top. Or not refried beans, black beans. See there, I'm getting confused. Okay, and we'll kind of sprinkle those on top. No, no, no. My husband's trying to help me. He forgot the order of things. Anyway, I've got six eggs that I've got whipped here with some cream, about a half a cup of cream, and then I put in a teaspoon of cumin and a teaspoon of chili powder. I'm gonna pour that on top. Just put on here evenly. There we go. Now we'll put the cheese on top. Here we go. And I put about a cup. You can put a little bit more if you want. There we go, and now we're gonna put the lid back on. Or the lid on, there we go. And we're gonna bake this pie for about 45 minutes. Okay, we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, wonderful, it's about done. We're gonna take it up. And if you wanted to kick this up, if you wanted to, instead of using breakfast sausage, you can use handouille, which that's really got a kick to it. And if you want more of a kick, instead of doing green peppers, you can put a jalapeno in there with it or do whatever you want to do. There's no rules with it. It's all what your stomach can take. And of course, we believe in quality food and good food. So we're gonna take this up and we'll see you inside. Thank you. And we hope that you enjoy our wonderful meal with us today. As you can see, it turned out absolutely wonderful. You can slice it and it comes out like a quiche. If you're wondering who that fat guy out there was that was helping me, that was my good looking husband. We believe in good food and plenty of it. As you can tell, he shows it. We hope you're enjoying everything with us today. If you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment. We love to hear comments. Subscribe. Here is to all of our viewers. We treat you as friends and to our family, which supports us. Thank you very much.